Now, the molar mass. So, you learned that if you take a mass equal to the relative atomic mass of a particular element in grams or a mass equal to relative molecular mass of a molecule in grams that contains a constant number of atoms or molecules. That constant number was known as Avogadro constant and that particular amount was known as one mole. Then what is the molar mass? Molar mass is the mass of any substance when we take one mole or we can say the mass of one mole of any substance is known as molar mass. If we take an example, the relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. So I take 14 grams of nitrogen atoms. They are, you know, it contains an Avogadro constant or 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of nitrogen atoms and it is equal to 1 mole of nitrogen atoms. Therefore, it is clear that the mass of 1 mole of nitrogen is 14 grams. Therefore, we can write molar mass of nitrogen, molar mass of nitrogen as 14 grams per mole. The unit of molar mass is grams per mole or kilograms per mole. Then we will take a molecule. I will take H2SO4. There you have calculated the relative molecular mass of H2SO4 as 98. 98. So I take a mass which is equal to the relative molecular mass of H2SO4 that is 98 grams. Then you know here there is one mole of H2SO4 molecules or Avogadro constant of H2SO4 molecules or 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of H2SO4 molecules. That is equal to 1 mole. It is clear that mass of 1 mole of H2SO4 is 98 grams. Therefore, molar mass of H2SO4 can be written as 98 grams per mole. 98 grams per mole.